Hey crafty friends, this is Jenny from crafttestdummies.com and today I'm reviewing the Fabric Creations Soft Ink from Plaid. Now this is part of their fabric print blocking line called Fabric Creations and we've had a chance to look at all of the stamps in the unboxing video. We've had a chance to review the stamps themselves and now we're taking a closer look at the ink. So let's take a closer look. Uh, these are Fabric Creation Soft Fabric Inks by Plaid. Now don't let the name confuse you. Where I come from, these are just called paints because they are a paint. It has a smooth, creamy consistency, no odor. This is a lot like honey. And as you can see right here on my finger, it's very opaque and provides really good coverage. So they are part of the Fabric Creations line, which also features these stamp blocks and I have a whole video on those so if you want to see those in action make sure you click the link but um, these are made to be used on fabric just like so. Um, now because today we're actually reviewing the fabric inks let's take a look at how they performed in some different tests. Okay so one of the first things I did was actually just stamp on paper in my journal and this is actually the first stamp I did, the second, and the third. So I kind of went just right to the paper three times without re-inking. And as you can see, this is very thick, and it kind of actually slid around a little bit. And then the second one was almost perfect, and then the third was just kind of a shadow image. But I want you just to listen. You hear that sound? That means that it's actually a little gummy on the paper. Um, certainly by the third stamp, it's not gummy, but this is actually just a little sticky and I just want you to be aware of that that if you are not using this on paper you could get a slightly tacky feel. Just also for an example I put some just at the top of the cap so that I could check and see what color it was and um, of course it's not really sticking to the plastic because it's not meant to but moreover it's just it stayed sticky and this is three days later so that's just something I want you to know. Okay so let's look at some fabric samples as you can see here, uh, this is just some knit t-shirt fabric and I stamped using I think the silver and the pink and the white. And of course, like most fabric inks or paints, um, if it's on a darker background, it just doesn't show up as well. So if you've got a light background, a darker paint works. And here's some purple I just stamped. This is about four days old and you can see there's no cracking, there's no change in the hand of the fabric. It is super soft which is kind of great. Um, and then I also even stamped it here on this Olifun, which is a polyester product, and um, it won't rub off of that. Now, because this is textured, it did, you know, the bumps kind of showed up, but I like the fact that you can use this on, you know, synthetics as well. Now, in addition to stamping, I wanted to see how the inks would work in a variety of techniques. So, I mentioned this is a pretty thin paint. It's um, very uh, runny and so I tried stenciling with it using a stiff brush and I think this is pretty successful. Um, you know it skips a little bit but it, it looks very painterly which I like. Now this one it's the same stencil but I tried the squeegee technique where you put a line of paint and then you silk screen it across um, and that was not as successful. It was just a little too thin and runny. Now this one is actually a silk screen and I feel like the results that I got in this were pretty good. A little, a little heavy, but not, not bad at all. So this is silk screening, pounce stenciling, kind of that squeegee stenciling, and then this is just brushed on. And what I wanted to see here was how opaque was the coverage. And um, all with this purple, it gets pretty, pretty good coverage. Um, you can see here it was bleached out. You get that variation, but. Uh, this was one coat and this was, I think, two coats. So you can also brush it on. And then lastly, this is just a piece of burlap and I wanted to see if it would make the burlap like stiffer. And the answer is no. Um, really, this is such a lightweight paint that even when I brushed it on and it's thick, it still is very soft. Like I can't, if my eyes are closed, I cannot tell the difference where the paint is and where it's not. So that gets a big thumbs up. Lastly, I wanted to check the durability of how well this goes through the wash. So these samples were uh, stamped and then washed and dried on a cool cycle, no heavy heat. 
And here's my denim. Again, the issue is here is really the color against the blue. You can see the white showed up the best, um, but nice and soft, uh, no change in the hand, and you know, certainly no cracking. So very durable through the cool water wash and tumble dry. Here's the knit leggings that I did, and I, I just wanted to check and see, you know, how well it would hold up. And it's kind of remarkable that, you know, you can stretch it that much and still, you know, see the image. Again, always work lighter on the dark fabrics. And then this is the baby onesie. And no cracking and, um, you know, very durable. Of course, the more you pull it on a knit, the lighter it's going to get, but it bounces right back. So, again, I consider this a win for the washing and drying test. So there you go. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate your time. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comments section below. And as always, we would love it if you subscribed to the channel and checked out some of our related videos. Thank you again so much for watching and have a crafty day. Mm -hmm.